you can't ever take anything for granted or assume anything or just work as hard as you can, do as much as you can and cross your fingers and hope. At the age of 12, Meryl Streep begins taking opera singing lessons. At 17, she becomes a cheerleader and is crowned queen of her high school prom. You are where you grew up. And I grew up in New Jersey, in a town of 5,000 people. At 25, she is a student at Yale University and makes her theatrical debut. At 27, she is spotted on stage by Robert De Niro, who mentioned her to director Michael Cimino. Cimino offered her a small role in the film The Deer Hunter. Meryl Streep accepted, in large part, to spend time with her partner, John Cazale, who was suffering from cancer, and it was she who wrote some of the dialogue for her character, Linda, to make her more present on screen and more interesting. John Cazale dies in March 1978, and six months later, she marries sculptor Don Gummer. Together, they have four children. Losing heart is the most dangerous thing. You can put any obstacle in front of me, and I'll jump over it. But when I lose heart, you lose everything. At the age of 30, she wins her first Oscar for Kramer vs. Kramer. In the film, she plays Joanna, a mentally crushed woman who decides to leave her husband and son. Here, too, she was involved in the script, rewriting her plea monologue at the trial, because she felt it was written from too masculine a point of view and that no woman could ever say those words. I don't look at them as strong women, weak women, vacillating women, um, oppositional women. I do like difficult women, or at least the ones that are difficult to understand. At 33, she wins the Oscar for Best Actress for her role as a Polish immigrant and Holocaust survivor in Alan Jay, Pakula's Sophie's Choice. At the age of 35, she shows up at the casting of Out of Africa, wearing a low-cut top and a push-up to thumb her nose at director Sidney Pollack, who felt she wasn't sexy enough for the role. At the age of 39, she receives the Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival for her role in Evil Angels. At the age of 45, she's heartbreaking opposite Clint Eastwood in The Bridges of Madison County. I did The Bridges of Madison County. I was 45. And there was a big fight with the studio because they said I was too old. And my co-star, Clint, was 65. On her 57th birthday, she burst onto the screen in The Devil Wears Prada. Producer Wendy Feinerman would later recount, People thought we were crazy to choose Meryl. People would call me up and say, but you're crazy. She was never funny in her life. At the same age, she makes it into Entertainment Weekly's list of the 100 most powerful women. What advice do you have for women who are trying to make it in Hollywood? Oh, I guess, um, oh, I don't know. Don't worry about your weight. Worry about your inner beauty. At 59, she reveals herself to be a dancing queen in the film adaptation of the musical Mamma Mia, based on the songs of ABBA. At 62, she wins her third Oscar for her portrayal of British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher in The Iron Lady. A few minutes after leaving the stage, she speaks out for the recognition of women's place in national history. Women's History Museum. There is no National Women's History Museum, but there is a lot of history that is not written about the contributions of women in our country and around the world. For many, many centuries, history was not interested in us. And yet, and our history is um, invisible. At the age of 65, she receives the Medal of Freedom, America's highest honor, from then President Barack Obama. I love Meryl Streep. I, I love her. Uh, her husband knows I love her. <laughs> Michelle knows I love her. There's nothing either of them can do about it. At 68, she is accused by Rose McGowan of having been aware of Harvey Weinstein's actions and defended herself in a press release. I knew nothing about Weinstein's crimes. I was not deliberately silent. I just didn't know. I don't tacitly accept rape. I did not know. A month later, she joins the actresses who created the Time's Up movement for gender equality in the United States. In the United States, there was a, a newscaster who had a button under his desk that would lock the door when and in, you know, his young women interns would come in. I mean, this is these are abuses beyond imagining, honestly, and uh, shouldn't be in the workplace. Everybody deserves a workplace that's respectful and safe. At 70, she plays Nicole Kidman's mother-in-law in the series Big Little Lies. 
At the age of 74, in May 2024, she receives an honorary Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival, 35 years after her acting award. 